Oopsie. Oh, hi. Hi, Leo. <laughs> Welcome. To, okay. So we got two of swords and the wheel reversed. That was what's going to jump. Okay, so hi, Leo. Welcome to your um, week ahead reading for May 24th through May 30th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or even your moon rising or Venus sign. Okay, hi. So this is your week ahead. So that's interesting, that two of swords and the wheel reversed. Is this about you laying low and not engaging anymore and not having a, well, okay, so those two jumped. Walking away from, um, see, it's unfinished though, isn't it? Because you still are attached to it and there's a part of it that, like, you've got it compartmentalized. Like, okay, I need it for work and stability, quite possibly, but on the whole, I'm not going to let that affect other areas of my life and I'm going to continue with my own happiness and stability. So you've got something partitioned. Is it a relationship that you can't leave yet? Or is it a job you're just like, I'm not really there. I'm just there in spirit only, but that doesn't sound like you. Maybe you're on to bigger and better. All right, what else for Leo? Have to remember, this is only a week. This isn't a month. <laughs> I, uh, what else for Leo? I get, I get deep and heavy. Ten of coins, get it. I like it. King of Cups, that could be Pisces. Two of Swords, there it is again. Seven of Cups, oh, Pentacles or Coins. Five of Swords, all right, you are all about making decisions about what, okay. I feel like this is job related. I feel like this is about you not wanting to do, like it's like the worst is over and you can kind of take a minute now and think, and that's across the board with everybody I'm seeing, that this is a low week um, as far as work output, but it's a big thinking week. It's, for some, it's like their intuition is like on fire about like everything points to them moving forward um, and, and not where they were. Like, okay, they, they hung in because they had to, but as far as like continuing there, this is just a whole new reset for them. So as far as you, I just wanted you to know it was common. Um, as far as you, the, mm -hmm. You're still kind of leaving something romantically behind. You're making sense of it. You're moving forward. Um, got a great outlook um, about it. Like you're just like, well, okay. You're being very generous of spirit, shall we say. Um, you're not letting it hold you down. Um, this you, You've been through... Hmm, there's something about where you once came from. Like, and I'm talking about the last like three to four months that we've all kind of been dealing with that you're just like, okay, if I can ever help it never again, like I'm not, I'm not ever doing that to myself or my family again. Now that's not to say that of course what we all endured was a choice. I'm not saying that at all, but given the, the choices you had to make and the steps you had to go through, um, as far as kind of enduring something that wasn't really the best, you're of the mindset now where it's like, you know what? not really worth it like I looking back not that you're regretting or looking back but you're like okay the worst is over in the future I'm going to this all right so what does that mean what's this king of cups for Leo this is king of cups for Leo queen of wands that could be Aries what's this seven of coin this is seven of pentacle hmm Yeah, there's that money juggling. Still, it's preferable from where you once came from, and there is a focus on security. You're kind of you're kind of rebuilding. You're kind of repartitioning or rebuilding financially. Um, perhaps this is in light of walking away from an unhealthy situation. This is a fool reversed and the six of cups reversed. All right. So perhaps that's in light of you. Um, just not wanting to go there again. And while you still can't fully walk away, you're gonna definitely partition it so that you're not bound or there's not like that emotional attachment to it. Um, hmm. And you're not wanting to go return back. So there's, there's something that's very unsavory to you about where you once came from and you're taking measures to not have to deal with that anymore. So is it is a person or is it a job? Is it you going, I don't wanna work, I, I, realized in this that I really like being home with my kids or family or just doing my own thing. I don't want to have a boss and you're doing your own thing. Or I realized I really don't like my partner <laughs> and I, I have no desire to return to that situation or to pick up where we left off basically. 
because real life is kind of opening back up for everybody and um you know at least socially or externally globally and this is you kind of wanting to make sure that you don't have to revisit that dynamic what's this five of, no yeah what's this five of swords okay four of wands all right yeah so work is in flux and your relationship is um not so much in flux i feel like that's been decided or handled but you're still thinking about it what's this two of swords for leo this is two of swords for leo and then this flew out two of wands so ten of pentacles and two of wands okay so this is your plan of action for reinstating stability and security you've left two things behind and you're not messing with it you're not dealing with either you're still thinking about um relationship stuff maybe you're still thinking about picking up your crock pot and socks you know or getting certain things back to somebody but you've got your life um positioned where you want it moving forward and you have no desire to revisit anything that you just from when you, from once you just came <laughs> but there's still some loose ends you're tying up okay now this doesn't mean that you're leaving a relationship behind it could be that you and your person have been through it and you both are in agreement that okay we don't ever want to be caught like that again to where we're, we might financially struggle or we're going to have to prioritize work so much so that we're at each other's throats um everybody's going through that but just it doesn't have to be that you're going alone it's just that you're you're not wanting to return to an unsavory situation at all ever again um hmm. thinking about it quite a bit what's this six of coins the star card that could be aquarius also boobies it says three of coins or three of pentacles this three of pentacles you're still attached there's some there you're still dealing with something um that you're still you're trying to make sense of it so you've got a plan for moving forward and you're going to enact that plan it's going to be fine but emotionally mentally you're still kind of there i keep saying thinking like nope you're looking but you're not you're, you're still kind of looking over your shoulder and that's normal and it's fine um i can't tell if you're leaving someone behind and doing your own thing or if you're still in negotiations with them and trying to work something out this is there's some sadness here and there's some up and down about what to do about a romantic slash home situation um i think you would like to salvage it if you could but i i think you feel like it's just better you moving forward right now by yourself uh it feels like you're wanting some time to decide or to think or you two are wanting some time to talk about it more but it just it feels like you don't want to ever go through well i shouldn't say ever but if this ever if something of this magnitude comes along again or what you two have been through you would like to have handle it differently and i think there was an element of whatever you two have endured for the past couple months kind of showing a different side to each other and that's giving you a lot to think about um in terms of work i feel like you've kind of partitioned it that you've got you like the financial aspect of it but you're not really um that's all that it is right now or it's not taking precedent this week it's it's kind of a means to an end and that's okay but uh it's kind of, it's just kind of there and you're getting back on track financially and that is where your focus is but your partner is tied to that or your romantic interest is tied to that and i think it's like okay are we going to work this out or do we just have to exchange crock pots and socks like what are we going to do here and you're going back and forth this is you going back and forth it's it's hard because there's still an attachment there you haven't come full circle with it and you're trying to i think you're trying to figure it out and detach either way your plans are for you to move forward but whether it's for your person to be with you whether you two are going to kind of work on things and figure things out or if you're just going to leave it behind you're still thinking about that perhaps you're still talking about that with your person but your focus is on what is going to be the most stable because you you don't want to be for the leos that i'm reading for 
um, you don't want to be financially unstable and that that's your main focus main concern and it's almost to where you'd rather cut this person out if they're going to jeopardize that because it's been it might it's, it's been a bit rough so I think you've been trying to be kind of give someone the benefit of the doubt and be kind of you know to, to kind of make it work or happen because there's a financial benefit or component to dealing with someone or you're wanting to keep the peace so you can get your crock pot back <laughs> but you're going back and forth like is it worth it is it is this worth it mm. all right so this is a back and forth week for you the, your financial situation is the focus and restoring or replenishing that restabilizing and it, it it's fine you do but you're going back and forth whether you want to keep this romantic connection or social connection hmm and it doesn't it, either you're not just you're just not that invested in work and it is what it is or you are thinking about leaving that too because there's no real it's not featuring this week but there, it doesn't feel like there's a real attachment to what you do it feels like there's certain aspects of it you like because of the money involved or the stability you know the paycheck but perhaps you're also thinking of changing directions in light of what we've all gone through globally for Leo whoopsie you know it could be too though that you've been like kind of holding out and keeping the peace so that you could recoup some things from your person and maybe there's a letting down of there's like a kind of a, a return to innocence sort of with you two um it's almost like it's been rough for a while and then someone finally relents and they they do the right thing here they do the right thing and they are kind of like okay here you can have this back or i'll sign off on this and you can get that and then that sets you free maybe that's why because someone relents and does the right thing and is like okay all right here you can have this or i'll sign off on that you finally get to that clearing and then you're like well dang i've been fighting so long for that that I think I've kind of attached that or I kind of almost missed that because that was the one connection you had left to the, the, the person. And so you're like, okay, I'm truly f free, but it doesn't feel like it. Like it feels like I'm still kind of attached to this and I might. So in, in someone giving back what they've held out for so long or for you two kind of coming to this peaceful clearing and kind of talking peaceably and civilly and all that, did it rekindle some feelings? Because you're going back and forth here. This is a week of going back and forth. It's almost like um, now that you finally have been set to rights and this person had a hand in that, they, they, they've somehow given what they finally owed you. It's like your guard is down or you're all of a sudden you're kind of like, well, maybe we could, maybe, maybe we could do, hmm. That was first. Leo. Leo. The star card also boobies. Aquarius. Okay, so we got we've got the star card twice here. This is the future is wide open with possibility and potential. Yay for that. However, um, what do you want? That's what you're deciding. What do you want? And and keep in mind that whatever you want, what do you want to work for? Like couch it in that. What do you want to work for? Not what you want. What is realistic that you can work for? Because if you're going to work it out with someone, you're going to be working with their dynamic and their circumstances also. So ideally, awesome. But what is possible? And if, if it's not, if you can't see that happening with that person, no attaching to it. Because that way madness lies. Honestly, we all know that. So this is you kind of looking at the bigger picture and going, okay, got some choices, some decisions to make here. And you're kind of, um, in your feelings this week about it. There's a, there's, you're not very clear headed. I think you might want to be, but there's that aspect of still possibly deciding emotionally rather than you're not out of the woods emotionally yet. You're going back and forth. Okay. What I did the thing, didn't I? Oh, I'm going to do this one. I thought I did that one. That's four. Leo. Leo. Mm-hmm. Good one. Wisdom. Yes. 
that's applied, um, taking what you learn and letting it inform you for the future, actually applying, you know, not repeating the same thing, <laughs> actually going, okay, looking at what is empirically and making choices based on that that are going to be for your best interest and well-being and future success and future stability and just future stasis. So this is knowledge applied, basically. What are you going to do with the events as they've unfolded thus far? You've got some choices to make this week and you really do have the long view on things and you're going to be wanting to make decisions based on long view potential. So even though emotionally you might be here and wish, you're also weighing that, thank God, weighing that with potential success, what's the, what's going to be, what would be the future success of this investment versus um, outcome? Is it worth it? For some, it might be because it's like, well, I don't care about the practical side. I love the way it makes me feel or whatnot. And that's valid. It has to be worth it for you. That, that's my point. There's no right or wrong answer, just what works for you. And it looks like you're weighing that here. I just, I, can I just say, I just love that <laughs> because you're not getting lost in your feelings. Some people just abandon all common sense when they, they get into their feelings and it's, it's like you got to tackle them before they get to the door and throw the phone out of the car and <laughs> it's just, whoa, slow down. But you're not doing that. You do have your wits about you here. It's a lot to decide though, isn't it? Hmm. And it's all because they came around. It's all because whoever it is rallied. Somebody restored something that you were kind of set on going alone and doing your own thing. And then somebody rallies or somebody comes in and you're just like, well, now that's giving me even more to think about. I know the big picture. I want this, but this changes things. And so, yeah. Okay. What else for it, Leo? Aha. Empress on its side, leaving it. Taurus, Aries, or Libra and two of swords hold on i can never remember if that's the i gotta draw a dot i really i did but then it gets judged off in the thing okay hold on where do you go all right so that's the two of swords is that okay it is a fright gate okay so uh -huh. so we've got the empress in limbo we've got the future is to be going to be decided about are you two going to be together or is this going to be you starting anew on your own and it looks like you're wanting time to think here. Needing time to think. And particularly about the potential, the prospects, the practical side of your, your decision. Trying to keep the emotional um, at bay, which is a good plan. Because then once you know what you should do or what logically makes sense, then you can kind of um, look at the emotional side of things once you've got the groundwork, like then you can, I know that sounds weird, but you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, this is you holding off on, this is a thinking week. Lots to think about. Holy cow. 20 minutes worth of thinking about. <laughs> no, there's more than that. You know what I mean? But this mainly because even though your feelings are over here, is that going to align with the practical side of the relationship? Is this someone I can count on? Is this someone that I'm going to have to do the lion's share huh, of the work? There's feelings, but is it worth the investment of time and resources and commitment? Okay. Okay, Leo. I hope this was helpful. I, I hope to see you in the next reading, and I thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder. Um, you have yourself a good week and you, you take care of yourself now. You just got yourself back on track financially, physically, or it's, it's coming and you have the luxury of time to think about this. So just good luck with this. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. You take care.